Hi guys, welcome back to How to Feel Boyfriend. Probably the last bit, maybe not. No idea. No idea what's going to happen in this one. I'm uh, a little bit panicked, but uh, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. This is a lot fancier than I expected. I never knew this huge place was underneath the school. I don't think anyone knows places like this are underneath their school. This faculty has been used for search to call humans since the school was founded. I, Pidgeymon, none of us ever knew. We lived our carefree lives with all this going on beneath our feet. Hmm, I don't see anybody. What if it's closed now? Yeah, it's clean and orderly, but I don't get the feeling that it's still in use. There was a fire down here five years ago, and since then the whole facility has been shut up. I suppose they froze whatever project they were working on. Hey, Angel? Which way do you think we should go to find the doctor? That would be... Ah, <gasps> oh, my crimson breast murmurs. The boobs can talk! The Midnight Hunter approaches. Ooh, who's the Midnight Hunter? Ugh! What's up, bruh? Oh no, who did he hit? Could you have said so earlier? Oh dear, if we don't get past him, we can't go on. We cannot reach one stein without first defeating his Dark Seven. This trial cannot be avoided. This trial also needs to be saved, because if I fail miserably, then I fail. But all we've ever managed to do is run away from this thing. The, the, the thing. How can we... Duck. <laughs> Duck. I mean, pigeon. Can't get anyone just by running away. Do we have any sort of weapon? We have Angel. You can throw him at him. A weapon? Do you have them? Ah, oh, you see? Robots and sudden surges of electricity. Science, bitches. I do have the stun gun Mr. Leone lent me. Will it even work on a scarecrow? It is a robot. Oh, maybe not a normal output. But it looks like a living creature, so I doubt it would be completely unaffected. Start it! The Midnight Hunter is a hound bred from the Black Void. We must purify it with holy water. <gasps> Angel! Science! Electricity! Science! And the robot! Science! Science! Angel! Well done. Oh, so that's a good idea. What, what did he even say? There's a fire hose on the wall there. If we time it right... Don't electrocute yourself. Mr. Nanaki wobbles towards the wall and pulls out the hose. Oh, of course! Yeah, Ryota, da, catch up with us. Pidgeymon paid attention in class, please. Ready? He points the hose at the scarecrow and opens the valve. Angel, sir, get back! I set the stun gun to maximum and hurl it at the scarecrow. Are you dead? Yeah, he's dead. I don't know what death noise to make for a scarecrow. I hope that satisfied you all. It collapses with an unpleasant noise. Its electrified metal arm twitches for a moment, but then it is still. Oh, we did it! Electricity is a powerful thing indeed. Well then, Angel. The thunderous voices of doom. Judgment has come. Oh. Huh. Oh. Goodbye, Mr. Scarecrow. He's trying to say something. What is he trying to say? Onwards. I have a really bad feeling that my brain might be in the scarecrow and it's trying it's been trying to speak to Ryota all this time, just like Ryo no, that doesn't no, that doesn't explain the sudden swish. I'm guessing this is Sukuya. Disgraceful. What am I doing here? La Belle is not allowed hesitation. No. I have not eaten I have not even the right to claim that restriction anymore. Do ya? foolish. 
ما نطقش قطوره I am a fool I have been pampered my entire life while in my shadow he crawled along under the weight of a crime of which only he knew I have been nothing but vain and selfish Oh, Sakuya! Oh, what should I do, Yuya? Oh, oh, Jesus Christ! Oh. <laughs> I thought it was Yuya for a second. I was like, oh, oh, it is Sakuya. Sakuya is here. Oh, leave. No one wanted you to come here. Oh my God, Okasan, please tell me you have a really dramatic backstory. Oh, I mean, oh, everyone is leaving. It is grand, daring escape. Oh, oh. So can we go find Ryota with Okasan? Away we go. Please let, please tell me he's going to carry him. Shut up. Don't talk to me. Oh, Sakuya weeps. Oh no, no, do not. It's raining. We're inside. Oh, oh. Is Sakuya in pain? Well, that is bad. We must do something about it. Oh, oh, Okasan used healing touch. Don't touch me. Oh, confound you. Must I repeat? Oh, oh, Okasan knows. Okasan heard that Yuria has gone somewhere far, far away. I will never see him again. So they told you. Oh, do not worry. If we cannot meet him, we only need chase after him. Do you have any idea what you're saying? Death is not a good place to chase someone to. No doubt the older breeds have no concept of death. Chase Yuya into the grave? What kind of fool? Oh, Okasa knows the earth is a ball, so if we run far enough, we will find him. No, it's getting emotional again. What foolishness. Speaking with Mongols makes my head hurt. Except I'm a Mongol too. Poor Mongols who do not know to save my own error, that is. <gasps> Okosan is not a Mongol! Oh, Sequoia and Yuya and Okosan all have their wonderful names. Names more important than any breed. Is that your argument? That isn't even... What happened? You are yourself. Never let anyone tie you down. I am myself. Oh, oh, it's time to go. Okasan and friend are late. Oh, Okasan and Sakura are friends. Yeah. Oh, kick reason to the curb. Time to blast out of this prison and find you, yeah. Who is always bringing with useless energy as he was. Am I the same, perhaps? We will never see him again, no matter how far we run. But if he were here now, what would he do? What would he want me to do? At any rate, mobbing around here won't get us anywhere. Two more hours, I will chase after him. I will never find him, but I will find myself. Let us go, Oko. There is nothing more for us here. Oh, oh. So cool here is best when he acts cool. After Ryota, full speed ahead. I love you, Oko-san. I love him so much. He's my favorite pigeon. The demon spores are thick in the air. I smell the stench of the sorcerer. I feel a little nervous relying on Angel's bizarre intuition alone, but it worked so far and we're in a hurry. Was he actually following the doctor by his scent? Or was that just an angelism? I like that. It's an angelism. No, oh, there's some very vast equipment in here. And those documents look fairly new. Maybe this place is still in use. There's a register of names left open on my desk. Maybe it's student register. Oh, look, your name's here too, Angel. The dark grimoire. I feel the tendrils of him. Even tragedy. I don't know why he suddenly went very Shakespearean there, I'm sorry. We have noticed some of the students too, under Higuri. He acts as a neurotransmitter, but excited. He seems to produce an intoxicating or hallucinogenic pheromones. Physical exertion acts as a stimulant. 
away. Oh, sorry, got distracted. Um, wasn't thinking anything dirty. Nope. Oh, the pheromone causes others to temporarily lose control of themselves, but its usefulness is limited. Not currently applicable to combat. Oh, <gasps> ooh, damn! I shall not allow the sorcerer to make me his pawn. I am the Crimson Angel of Dudica, destined to wander the south alone. Yeah, you tell him, Angel. I'm not sure what he's talking about, but he sounds and looks unexpectedly heroic. It's because he's he is my hero. We were holding out for a hero and it was him all along. It looks like all the students who were invited here have some sort of physical idiosyncrasy. Huh. How did you enroll, Quara? How? I was invited to. I don't know why. Oh, yours is just a bunch of numbers. I wonder if it's the explanation for something like a guru's. Whoa. Whoa, what just happened? No, the black miasma of inevitable doom doors. Doom draws near. What? What just happened? We are approaching the gate of the abyss. I feel its foul wind. Sorry, farted again. Let's go. The doctor's waiting for us. Could could you wait a minute, Kuara? What is it, sir? We're almost done. We need to. I want to ask you something first, Kuara. You lied. Did not you? Did not you? You mean, did you not? Wait, why would I lie, huh? Lied? Me? I don't know why you would lie about that. Maybe you forgot, even though it was just yesterday. Yesterday? After school? Like I said to Secure, I don't know anything about it. We have to ask the doctor- Hmm. I see. Let's go on then. Okay, so Viota can't remember something. And everyone else does. Maybe it... Oh, don't want to think about it. I have a theory, but I don't like it. Mr. Nanaki follows Angel down towards the innermost room. I've been trying to find the truth about Pidgeymon's death since this morning. Why would I lie? Maybe Mr. Nanaki misunderstood something, but that seems too simple. In contrast to the rooms above, this area is dark and filthy. This must be where the fire was five years ago. Oh, I feel like I can smell the soot just by looking at the walls here. Nageki threw himself into the sea of fire here to end the experiments. Dude, please, no, don't talk about it. It gets me emotional. I wonder what I would have done in this place. Would I have ended it all like him? Oh, you'll know, Mr. Kawara. I have grown tired of waiting. <gasps> you! Partridge! The dark sorcerer, Wallenstein! Wallenstein, sorry, had a Frankenstein moment. Doctor. It wasn't just Pidgeymon. You killed the headmaster as well. If it weren't for you, the boy who went outside wouldn't have been... Why are you doing this? Must I repeat myself? I told you before, I merely dissemble. <laughs> Disassembled Miss Nanana after the fact. I did not kill her. Do you think I care? Hmm. It would appear that you need some assistance. I told you before, but you should already have everything you need to answer your question. Who killed na 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 Pidgeymon? Do not listen to the Dark Sorcerer's words. Textorious Melodia Fanis. He will lay a spell on you. Perhaps the peanut gallery could keep its thoughts to itself. How dare you! 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 You son of a bitch. Okay. Damn it! An iron grill drops behind me like an evil wizard's portcullis. I'm cut off. Yeah, I got it. Oh dear, we appear to be shut in. Teacher, please, could you stop being so calm? No, the dark spell. 
What are you doing? Nothing at all. I simply have no business with them. I was waiting for you, Mr. Kawara. What are you going to do to me? What are you going to do to me? Ugh. Now, let us return to our conversation. A conversation about the truth you seek. You have done unbelievably cruel things, Doctor. You were involved in the medical centre here too. Nothing you can say to me will change my mind. I, I feel I feel something's going to happen. I feel I need to save because I'm getting very, very weirded out. How pugnacious of you. That you are lacking in logic. What I may or may not have done has little to do with the truth of my words. I was employed at this facility from the beginning. No doubt you have already de deduced that I was working on Operation Hatterfield. You mean Operation Hatterfield, my friend? <laughs> Operation Hatterfield. The plan to wipe out humanity with the Charon virus. Precisely. Oh, it does make me so happy when students read a hint and come prepared for their lecture. Shoo, you're going insane. You are exemplary. <laughs> I hate you. The strain we isolated from the original host was extremely powerful. Quite possibly the deadliest in human history. However, strains of such lethality tend to be fragile themselves. Charon virus was no exception. cannot last very long outside of a host's body. In order to deliver it to the enemy, we would have had to send li live carriers into the society and allowed it to spread via airborne infection. This proved troublesome. Charon virus, in addition to being harmless birds, is ill-equipped to establish itself in our bodies. Fujishiro Nageki, the original host, had a rare genetic condition which resulted in a slightly compromised immune system. In his body alone was Charon able to safely reside. Alas, he refused to cooperate. You forced him to kill human prisoners. If it weren't for your experiments, he would never would have killed himself. Indeed. It had not occurred to us that the tests of the strain's effects would harm his mental health no it didn't harm his mental health you son of a bitch he just didn't want to kill people anymore jesus christ we expected that he would be glad of the chance to avenge himself on humanity but uh, sadly it was not so and we lost our sample i'm beginning to think you're a crazy son of a bitch the project was put on indefinite hold with his death but thankfully we did not lose his corpse in its entirety I preserved his remains and have kept them to this day. I have been waiting for a new carrier to arrive. Well, it sounds like this was a very labour intensive project. Wasn't there a better way? Quite right. I digress a little, but there was a reason for our methods. It did not take me long to come up with a better plan. We need only compromise the subject's immune system, creating a compatibility like Fujishiro Nekeki's. <gasps> Is that what you've been doing with Ryota? Compromise the immune system, they die. Indeed. Even if the subject were able to, to become a carrier for the Charon virus, if they died to some other instant, it would all be for naught. Which is why I was very careful with who I choose. chose. I worked on the subject over time, slowly weakening his immune <gasps> You son of a bitch! Slowly weakening his immune system. I suppose I should count myself lucky that I achieved my goal in only a year. <gasps> it was me. You son of a bitch. You are an exemplary student, Mr. Kawara. I give you four marks. Four marks. Motherfucker. My head hurts. Almost as if some strange creature is wriggling about deep inside my brain. Are you okay, Ryota? Mr. Nanaki said you were coming here, so I wanted to make sure you were all right. Pijimon came to the infirmary to see me. Oh, he 
have come this far. I am sure you can answer this. What was it that you forgot? Everything is hazy. I think my stomach is acting up again. I drink the medicine Dr. Romana gives me and lie down, but my body still feels heavy. I'm tired. Are you okay, Ryota? I am. I'm fine now. Mr. Nayanaki said you were coming here, so I wanted to make sure you were right. Pidgeon is reaching towards me. Want to go home? I'll walk with you. Her hand stops. Pidgeon falls to her knees, clutching her chest. Ryota, I, I can't breathe. Oh, she can't breathe. This is bad. My mother said to get home early. Everything feels strange. Almost like it's a dream. I only need to go home. Goodbye, Pidgeymon. See you tomorrow. <gasps> <gasps> fell down before my eyes and then I don't like this game anymore the experiment was a resounding success Miss Nana Nana displayed the archetypal symptoms of a human infected with the Karen virus and passed away uh, once the virus is inside a human body it shuts down the res respiratory system in a matter of minutes Technically speaking, it causes an overreaction of the immune system, which leads to widespread apoptosis in the lungs. But more simply, any human who comes into contact with you will die. You see? You're lying. Pigeon and I were together since we were children. And of course, I only administered the live I was to you yesterday. All the things I've done to you over the past year have been in preparation for it. Do you recognise this? Scarecrow's head. No! Yes. Alas, the body is now useless, but I shall tell you about the labour nying. The being you calls the Scarecrow. It was one of the labour model new humans developed by dub party researchers, but denounced as unethical. We birds have advanced quickly, but our physical capabilities are still far behind those of the human race. These new creatures were livestock, if you will, to compensate for that. The labour series was a great step towards the beautiful ideal of coexistence with humans. With a human's head mounted inside an artificial body, they were durable and capable of difficult tasks. Of course, they never entered development the project having been shut down early due to ethical complaints. However, I carried on the dog party research as well and created this prototype to be my sidekick. We didn't want too many other people snooping around and disrupting your investigation. So I had it patrol the building. And now, the next question. What is inside this bag? No, don't do it! A human's head. No, no, no. Close, but you have to be more specific. I believe we had Miss Nanana's head sent to your classroom, but... No, it is my brain! Did you notice anything missing? No! <laughs> missing. When I found her in the box, I was too shocked to be looking for clues. I don't know how I've missed something. Wait. He doesn't mean. Yup! I don't like this game anymore! Correct. Do you catch on quickly? Miss Nanana did come to meet you quite frequently. 
Of course, having been placed in Labour 9, she has lost much of her personality. Then she's alive, but her body is gone. All that's left is her brain. Can we still call that alive? Alive or not alive, I don't know anymore. Can you save her? That is a difficult question. We tend to think of there being a definite border between life and death, but really it's quite vague. Her personality still remained in this world up until a few minutes ago. But you gave poor Labour Nine quite a shock, shall we say? Alas, Miss Nanana's brain is no doubt irreversibly damaged. Oh no! The wonders of modern medicine can do nothing for her now but sigh and shake their heads. Yesterday her body, and today her mind. You are far more twisted villain than I could ever hope to be, Mr. Quiet. Oh no, don't say that, Peter! It's not your fault! I killed Pidgeon. It was my fault all along. Why did it have to happen this way? This was all arranged for you. I had Labour 9, Mr. Sakazaki and the Headmaster help you along in your investigation. You are but one step from the end now. I hate you. I hate you so much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it here. I don't know how long it's gonna go on for. I, I just, I gotta take a step back. I'll see you guys in the next part, or I'll see you in the middle part. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go.